everybody, and welcome to lucky number 13 of my weekly update video things. This one should, I think, be for November 23rd, 2015. Hopefully I'll have time to edit it and get it up in time. Um, may come out on the 24th, which is Tuesday. But, um main thing, as you probably noticed, I didn't have much time at all to edit videos this past week. Um, it should clear up this week though, since it's Thanksgiving break. Um, but, as it stands, I mean, I didn't have anything really go up except for the update thing. I did actually finish up, um, editing a Holy Potatoes a Weapon Shop episode, but um, that was right on Friday and I didn't finish the upload in time and the uprate here, as I've said before, is abysmal. Um, so I just figured I'd wait until this week. Um, I'm being fairly quiet right now because it's 5 a.m. Um, I just finished writing a technical report thing for a project for school. Um, started it at like 2. It's pretty nice. Um, there is one more final project thing, but I basically finished that. For the, it's for the same course. I don't think there's any real other finals besides what I've pretty much finished. Um, well, so uh, what is there? I mean, this week hopefully I'll have a lot more time, like I said. Hopefully I'll also be able to find a ride to get in to be able to upload them. I should be able to most days. Probably not Thursday though. But this weekend uh, wasn't as productive as I'd hoped. But that's not too bad, I suppose. Um, I did. Well, when like I said, when my hard drive, well, not when I, my laptop disappeared, I was thinking, oh man, what am I gonna do about stuff? So. I'm planning on uh, now getting a new desktop and that way I'll also be able to play everything on maximum while um, still recording for quite some time. Um, right now I don't have enough for it but uh, since the place that I'm going to now is pretty freaking cheap and um, possibly partially because I have a massive amount of, well, fairly massive, not really massive, amount of debt from a super expensive school before, or just that I was going to a super expensive school before. Um, I, and since I don't need to pay for housing or anything like that, meals or whatnot, um, after all the grants and stuff, I get like sixteen to eighteen hundred dollars a semester last semester I just put it towards the loans but this semester I think I'm going to put it all towards the new computer so that should be pretty great um no uh, bones um so I've actually spent most of this weekend looking at stuff uh, so far, I mean, I may change this processor out for the, what is it, uh, well, I mean, right now on the list I've got the, um, i7-5930K, which is pretty great, but depending on, uh, things later, prices, if I really want to drop that extra amount, uh, um, to get all 40 of those lanes, um, I might just drop down to the, it's basically the equivalent with, 
think 24 lanes instead of the 40. Um, but it's like a couple hundred dollars cheaper. It's the, I think, 5820. Not sure, don't quote me on that, but, um, so there's that. Um, for the motherboard, it's the Asus XT, oh, X99, sorry, it's like pitch black in here right now. I'm reading this off my laptop's screen brightness, I'm gonna pull this down so it's brighter on me. Uh, the X99A, the USB 3.1, I'm not getting the deluxe because it's like another hundred some for a bunch more USB ports and stuff, but I don't really think, and a wireless card, which I am going to need to get, but I'm probably just going to cannibalize at first at least the card that I've got from my old from my build from what like 2006 or something that was the last time that I had a desktop really um for RAM uh, I believe the uh, processor has uh, four the four rail well, not rail whatever the four four memory lanes it is, it is Rails, isn't it? Yeah. So, yeah, I've got the Corsair Vengeance LPX 32 gigs, which is 4 times 8 gigs. Um, and there's also room on the motherboard for another 4 if I decide to upgrade later, but right now, not really too important. Um, Samsung 850 Evo 1TB SSD for my main storage and for games and stuff. Um, and for storage for the YouTube stuff, I'm going to have four Western Digital Blacks, one terabyte each in RAID 10, so it's effectively two terabytes at twice the speed with redundancy. So in case one of them fails, I can replace it without losing anything. And it's twice as fast write speed double write speed which will let me do um uh, 60 fps without a problem probably even well i say probably possibly even 4k not sure what kind of frame rate i'll be able to get that at but um so there's those in the western the blacks are the, pretty much top of the line for that um and graphics card planning on the gigabyte t980 ti uh, 980 ti winforce 3x i could have gotten the gamer one but from what i saw it's basically just a uh, factory overclocked one i can do that myself um for the power supply, I've got an EVGA 1000 watt Platinum Plus, which has a silent function if you're at l using low power, which could be nice if I'm not running massive games. It won't use anything. I think it's under 30 or 35 percent of its, so like 300, 350 watts. If it's drawing less than that, then it won't use a fan whatsoever. Um, I already ordered that one because it was like half off. Um, um, got the... For the monitor... Well, I'll get back to that. For the case, um, I'm going with for more silence so that there's not a bunch of fan noise on the captures, uh, the Fractal Design uh, Define R5, which has a bunch of modular stuff, can do that nicely. And the CPU cooler is a Nocturna, so it should be pretty quiet there too. With, uh, I think it, it was some sort of diamond compound, I think I see. Um, the diamond compound is great. 
diamonds are more conductive than silver and I mean they're synthetic of course it's not it's not like I'm buying it from the beers ridiculous prices and it's not like it's well it is a few carats but um, um it's all synthetic not expensive not regulated by the beers <laughs> um, but much higher thermal conductivity than silver and it's an insulator so in case something horrible goes wrong there's it's an insulator um and for the monitor the AOC G2 G2460 PG 244 hertz monitor one millisecond response time G-Sync and 3D ready if I ever decide to use that unfortunately it's 1080p so I won't be able to see any 4k games I might be able to play them and record them with that monitor I might need to get a 4k monitor if I ever decide to record 4k stuff for YouTube um, if that doesn't work but that I'm hoping to get soon so I can use it for this which then I'll be able to put the laptop quite a ways away I think I mentioned it before it might have been in that dead episode um, I tried to get use another monitor one that it's just been sitting around but it was 16 by 10 and just under 1920 by 1080 and it locked my resolution well I mean I didn't really look into it very far I might have been able to still record it the full resolution but wow um I it wasn't 1080p so I figured well I'm not gonna risk getting 720p just so that I can have the laptop further away so the fans aren't making noise um there is a quite a bit of noise showing up on the capture right now not entirely sure what that is but um i think it might be because i've got the xlr cable running right behind the laptop getting hit by the fan hit by the magnetic field caused by the fan possibly um or just electrical noise from the computer. My lights are all off, like I said before, so it's not lights. Could be bad wiring, but I doubt it. Um, who knows? Um, so I guess I'll talk about the projects that I'm working on. Well, for school. Well, first of all, this past Monday, I blew up a watt meter. That was fun. We were doing three-phase stuff, and had to measure each of the phase uh, wattage is power phase power so um, I had three because like they're really old watt meters three separate ones um, one of them was kilowatts another one was like maxed out at I think it was over a kilowatt um, and the uh, the smallest one maxed out at like 400 watts and so I was kind of fiddling around with them so that I could get decent readings on all of them because it was an unbalanced load it was like light bulb and some other like capacitor I think two light bulbs one one phase was a light bulb one phase was a capacitor well another two phases were light bulbs 90 watt light bulbs um, and one phase was a capacitor with a, resi with a resistor um, so I was fiddling around to get it so that I could get decent readings on all of them all these ancient analog I mean it's not just that they're analog they were actually ancient analog ones all the stickers were cracked off um, not just peeled off but like dead cracked um, 
So I was fiddling around, moving those around, and since they were all different, they also had different connections, and I accidentally moved one of the voltage probes, like swapped the voltage probe with a current probe, like the positions of what they were connected to, and so it just shorted across the smallest watt meter. My partner, I'm pretty sure, shat his pants while he was trying to get away. I was sitting there about a foot away from it, just kind of glaring at it as it made all sorts of great sounds and let all the magic smoke escape. So I'm going to see if I can fix that this over this break, but I don't think I will be, well, I probably won't be able to. The coils might actually be fused rather than just melted like the uh, insulation melted. Um, I don't think I'll have time to put the pictures up in this episode. I do have a couple of pictures of it, but I'll put those up next week, I guess. Um, but aside from that, um, for instrumentation, I've got the thing that I pretty much just finished. I still, we still need I'd say I, but it's it's a group project technically, but I did the entire report myself. And they're supposed to make a PowerPoint of it. It's for... Oh, I don't have the thing up. But basically it's just... A bunch of different groups in the class where... Uh, people, the class was divided into groups of like th one to three and... Um, each one was assigned a different uh, device for, and it, well, for the project. It's, we didn't build anything. It was all kind of theoretical. Um, and then you, each one, sort of, uh, had to describe how the device function. Uh, the scenario was like, uh, you work for this company and you need to, um, well, they want to come out with a new product, which is the one that you did, so you need to make a report about how it works and what it needs to do, how to calibrate it, so it's basically it, just how it works, block diagram, schematics calibrate how to calibrate it so I did that um, yeah I'm not gonna buy those right now um, then the other one same class that one was basically a final project but it was apparently not um, the actual final project was well is to for my group um, it's like a LabVIEW pro project, which LabVIEW is a pretty cool program. It's kind of, kind of FPGA type logic to the coding. It's all GUI based though, which is weird. Um, so my group got the logic gate tester where you basically output certain voltages to the breadboard which then which has a bunch of logic gates on it and then you read or well, you output uh, the different voltages to the chips and you read the outputs of the chips um, plot all the outputs of them this is all in the lab view you're not actually plotting anything you have the you write a program to have it do it for you, it outputs voltages, goes through all the different combinations, compares it to various gates, um, displays it, and tells you what kind of gate it is. You can have it plot against the theoretical plot. It gives you like the actual plot so it's not just straight lines, sometimes it's got little wobbly things, but I did that in like a day, so that was cool. I think I 
spread it across two days, but it was like a few hours. It wasn't bad at all. But again, my group did nothing. But that's probably because it would have. It probably would have been more work for me if I did have them do stuff. So I just did it. I'm. There's. I haven't had it um, write to a file yet. I'll probably just have them do that. I did all the really difficult stuff. So it shouldn't be too bad. But yeah. That's what I've been up to. Um, thank you all so very much. Oh, yeah, I'll kind of call it there. Thank you all so very much for watching. I will see you. Oh, I'll get back to the thing first. So hopefully this week, or last week, will mark the end of shitty shit. So, yeah. Hopefully I'll get that desktop, which will be great for everything really gaming fantastic should be pretty damn good for editing stuff I do also have an upgrade to my editing software coming in which is nice um so yeah uh, almost there I think yep so I might as well do it now do it now uh, thank you all so very much for watching and I will see you in the next episode of whatever it is you decide to watch that I'm in. Sell and goodbye.